Hi, rabbis. Rabbi Rossoff, is he is he pondering or frozen? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Oh, you can hear me. Okay, because I tend to freeze. I freeze as well. Well, Shabbat Shalom. How wonderful is it for us to be able to celebrate pride? And I thought I would maybe just fill in a little time so that Rabbi Rossoff could get unfrozen <laughs> because I know that for all of us, it is such a special time to be able to celebrate together um, pride and also to be able to come together on this Shabbat um, to be able for all of us uh, who have been so touched by uh, Rabbi Rossoff to be able to wish him well as he continues his journey. And so I know that he has special words of opening for all of us, but maybe what we can do instead of, um, of waiting for Rabbi Rossoff to welcome us, instead maybe what we can do is invite Edwards Weiss to open up the service um, with or with Or Chadash, with the uh, new light, uh, the new light of this extraordinarily decades old, beautiful congregation that's now part of Temple Sholem, and this beautiful Or, um, the, the light of Shabbat. It's on page 120 if we would like to say the blessing with Edwards. Baruch Atan Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam, Asher Kishanu, Bermit Fotav, Vitsuvanu, the Hadlik Ner Shel Shabbat. Asher Koach Edwards. Asher Koach. Yeah, Kenter. Baruch Hatanu na Elohim Mecholam Hashem Kedeshanu v'Mitzvot Avetzivanu Lehan Ligner Lehan Ligner Shel Shabbat. We continue now. Thank you so much, Edwards, and Shabbat Shalom to everyone. Uh, we continue on page 123 as we invite, invite Mindy Stillman to lead us in Kiddush. If you're able, please rise. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Baruch Atadonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, 
Asher Kitshanu Bemitzvotav, the Ratzavanu, the Shabbat Kocho, the Ahava Uvraton in Kilanu, Zicharon the Masavere Sheet, Ki Hu Yom Tehila, the Mikra E Kodesh, Zechir Litziat, Nitraim, Ki Vanu Vacharta, the Otanu Kidasha. Nicole, Nicole, I mean, the Yahava Uvratzon, Hin Kaltanu, Baruch Atadonai, Nikadesh, a Shabbat. Amen. Lachayim, thank you, Mindy. My pleasure. I love your background, the whole thing. Well, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Um, the Shabbat gremlins were uh, attacking my computer just when I was supposed to come on, but um, it is a joy to be here, especially, especially on Pride Shabbat. You know, every day, I suppose, should be uh, Pride Day. Every month should be Pride Pride Month. Uh, day, but that's another story. Um, but it's important sometimes to, to designate a, a special time, a holy time, to lift up our concerns and to lift up, in this case, our LGBT and uh, community who um, who are just so very special and um, we would not be the same without you. So, um, well, let's continue with the um, Chadodi, which is on page 138. Lechado di likrat kala, pene shaban kamela. Lechado di likrat kala, pene shaban kamela. Shamor bezahol bni borechal, ish mi anu el ham yochal, Adonai achal. Hello, Rabbi Rossoff. Hi. Right. Well, I keep getting unmuted and muted. Anyway, on page 142 is Shalom Aleichem. Uh, I'm so pleased, and we're also blessed that the cantor tonight has chosen the, uh, the melody by Debbie Friedman, a dear, 
dear friend to many of us. This was the uh, last song that she that she wrote, and she bequeathed to us a um, a tune to those sacred words, which for me really really go deep and make me feel the loving and the gentle presence of those Malachei Hasharet, the angels of service, the the beautiful Shabbat energies and the community of the energies of community, the energies of love that bring us into this sacred time. Shalom Alechem, Malache Hasharet, Malache Elyon, Nimelech, Malache Hamlachim, Hakadosh, Hakadosh Baruchu, Boachem Shalom, Malache Hashalom, Malache Elyon. Nimelech malchei hamlachim hakadosh baruch hu. Shalom alechem, shalom alechem, malachei hasharet, malachei elyon. Nimelech malchei hamlachim hakadosh. Hakadosh Baruchu, Varhuni le Shalom, Malache Hashalom, Malache Yalyon, Nimelech Mache Amlachim, Hakadosh Baruchu. Shalom Alechem, Shalom Alechem, Malachi Hasharet, Malachi Elyon, Mi Melech Malachi Hamlachim, Hakadosh, Hakadosh Baruchu, Seitzchem le Shalom Malachi Hashalom. Malachi Elyon, Mi Melech Malachi Hamlachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Shalom Alechem, Shalom Alechem, Malachi Hasharet, Malachi Elyon, Mi Melech Malachi Hamlachim. Hakadosh, Hakadosh Baruch. As we know, as we enter the uh, Shema and its blessings on page 146, as we know, this is a time to rise either in body or in spirit or both. Please be seated. 
והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצא לך היום על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם בשבתך ביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשוכבך ובקומך ופשרתם לאות על ידך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי והייתם קדושים לאלוהיכם אני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם to help lead us into our prayer of Micha Mocha, I invite to our virtual Bima, Elizabeth Stone. Our people came out of Egypt a mixed multitude, a spray of, the spray of dividing waters, sparkling diamonds all around them. We stood together at Sinai, all of us, future, present, past, amid the rumble of thunder and the crack of bright lightning, to enter into covenant with the one who loves us, whose shining image we are all created over and over again. We have wandered bleak landscapes, built flimsy tents of skin and then houses of stone. We have planted orchards and vineyards, seen two temples rise and then go down in surging flames, forcing us into exile. We have loved and lost, grieved and danced, transgressed and celebrated hidden, suffered, thrived. And we gather here this day in the community of our people, a mixed multitude, and we sing out, Hear, O Israel, we stand together, all of us, descendants of the single first human created on the sixth day, and of our myriad parents down through the generations, too numerous to name. We stand together, link arms, and pray. Blessed are you, God of the universe, who sanctifies us with the commandment to love ourselves and one another in all our varied ways and blesses us with a diamond bright radiance that still ripples out from your first spoken words of creation. Lai 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 la 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 מלכות חרא ובניך, בוקי הים לפני משה ומרים, זה אלי ענו ואמרו, זה אלי ענו ואמרו, אדוני אם לא לעולם מעין, אדוני אם לא לעולם מעין. We turn ahead in our prayer books to page 160 for our prayer of peace as we sleep, our Hashki Venu. Hashki Venu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom Vahamideinu Shomreinu Lechaim Lechaim Hashkiveinu Adonai Eloheinu Lechaim Vahamideinu Shomreinu Lechaim Lechaim May you shelter us in peace until the morning comes. May you lay us down with love and may you rise us up. Hashkiveinu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom Hamideinu 
Shomreinu lechaim lechaim. How wonderful it is that we get to celebrate Shabbat together, all of us in one tiny room here. I don't know how you're all fitting in here, but that celebration we do with those words of Vishamru on page 162. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat l'asot et ha-shabbat l'dorot ha-merit olam v'ni uv'n b'nei Yisrael Oti leolam leolam shishay shat yamim asarunai et hashamayim vetaret uvayom hashvi shavat vayinafa. As we are about to take our steps into the core of our worship service, the Amidah, which will be found on page 164 and the following even pages, I want to call your attention to a, a little two extra words that we're going to add this evening. As this evening, we are really highlighting and, and raising up our Temple Sholem or Hadash uh, affinity group. Uh, those who identify as LGBTQ and allies, we, in those services uh, with our Or Hadash community, we like to add two names to our uh, patriarchs and matriarchs, those names of Bilha and Zilpa. Now you see Bilha and Zilpa often don't get included in all the names of our, of our matriarchs. But in fact, Bilha and Zilpa gave birth to four of the sons of Joseph, four of the sons of Jacob, Naphtali, Dan, Asher, and Gad, and they became heads of tribes. But of course, Bilha and Zilpa were slaves. They were handmaidens, not necessarily wives of the patriarchs, but their descendants became part of the Jewish people. And for this reason, we add them back into our narrative to make sure that we are continually acknowledging those who have been written out of history, those who have been left behind, and to raise them up and show their importance in our lives and in our history. So for our Amidah today, uh, we will add the names Bilha and Zilpa to the end of the list of matriarchs. And we rise either in body or in spirit for the Amidah. Adonai sifatai tiktahu fi agitahilatecha. Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu velohe avotenu bimoteinu. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Lea, Elohe Bilha, Elohe Zilpa, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Hanora, El Elion, Gomel Hasarim Tovim, the Kome Hakol, the Zoher Hasleavot Imahot. Maybe do lali nebne hem le man shamo, the ahava, melahose, mushia, umagin, a rufata, adunai, magir Abraham, the Ezra Tara, a tagi bole la madunai, melpaye ha pola tara, blushia, mori ha tal, melkel haim, bechasel. Mechaye 
Melech me me to Machaye, who mats me a fishu of Nemana tal hachayo tafol, Baruchata donai, Machaye, hakol, Atakadosh, Vishim Hakadosh, Ukshoshim ho yom yalu hasala, Baruchata donai, Hail Hakadosh. As we enter our silent prayer, we think about those blessings, like those of Bilha and Zopa, who have touched our lives, yet we may not have known them by name. All of those who our society forgets to remember, but we work hard to bring their blessings to light. We take a moment of silent prayer and meditation, whether it's the words on the page or the words in our heart, each of us in our own way. Ose shalom bimramam, hu yase shalom aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol yoshvei tevel, ve'imru. we prepare for our prayer of healing, I invite, excuse me, uh, I invite Alan Tony Amberg to offer a reading. On this night, we extend our compassion and our prayers for healing to our own family members and loved ones. And let us extend our compassionate prayer to those we don't know and those we have never met as you all did for us just a few weeks ago. And may we find compassion and offer our healing prayers to all who are created in God's image, all who are grieving, all who are in need of comfort. We ask for the courage to take this life and this self which we have at this moment and to use it for blessing. Source of mercy, spread your shelter of peace over all the ill among us and over all who love them, along with all who are ill. Reveal your compassion and your blessing upon all who are ill and comfort them. May we see together a day of complete healing, healing of body, healing of mind, healing of spirit, speedily and soon. And let us say, Amen. Amen. And thank you, Roger, for as, as a medical professional, 
uh, for the work that you do to, to do acts of healing. Well, Alan, Tony, and Roger together. Yes, yes, excuse me. As if there are others in our community who are uh, thinking about those who are in need of those blessings of healing, I invite those here uh, to unmute and share their name, share the name of those loved ones who are in need of that, that blessing of healing. Tammy Mormina. Ellie Kennecott. Jennifer, uh, oh, Jen, sorry. Jason Schmeg and Mike Sinclair. Uh, Liviana Bree Salzer. Blue Van Kotter Wait, stop on that. At Volchek. Alan Carlos Tavares. Martha Taranto. Avner Drucker. Diane Revels. Bruce Trannon. Hannah Hirschfeld, Carol Curry. And we add to that list, Melissa Josephs, Don Sable, Susan Levine, Jack Shapiro and family. Jonathan Spitz and Nicholas, Barbara Novick, Melissa Josephs, Raphael and Carmen Valdez, Jed Snyder, Harriet Melrose, Lauren Berlant, as well as Barb Comerford, uh, Harriet Evnin, Antonio Santos, and Flo Bernberg. As we pray the words of Misha Berach, which can be found on page 371, 371. Here I am. Misha Beirach avoteinu makor habracha Limoteinu, may the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Mishabeirach imoteinu makor habracha leavoteinu bless those in need of healing with refua shlema the renewal of body the renewal of spirit and let us say. Amen. Amen. I have the absolute pleasure to introduce someone who is very special to me. Uh, just three years ago, uh, when I met her, we both, uh, and my wife, the three of us, broke down in tears uh, because of uh, what we had already found out that we shared in common, though we were meeting for the very first time. Lily Kornblum uh, sits as a member of our board of trustees as Temple Sholem. She uh, is one of the incredible lay leaders of our of Or Hadash and has, uh, is a past president of Or Hadash as well. One who cares so incredibly deeply about her community. Whichever aspect of the community you want to say, Lily cares so deeply about it. And we are so excited that we get to offer up our virtual bima uh, to hear words from Lily. Who's on mute? Oh, there we go. Well, thank, thank you so much. And Shabbat Shalom uh, to everyone. So um, I am compelled not, not just by convention, uh, but to begin tonight by acknowledging that tonight's Torah portion is Korah, in which the man of the same name leads a rebellion of 250 Levites, demanding that they, along with Aaron, are deserving of the high priesthood. Well, suffice it to say, 
God's displeasure with Korok and his followers become quite clear and things don't end well for them. So I am keenly aware of the irony of my situation and I want to be clear, lest God or anyone else think that uh, think otherwise, that I did not ask to take the place of our clergy tonight, uh, each of one of whom is a magnificent leader and inspiration. Instead, it was my honor to have been invited and encouraged by them to be with you tonight. So given this very, very special honor, I wanted to talk about angels, uh, specifically Shabbat angels, and I thank Rabbi Rosoff for the serendipitous lead-in. Uh, we sang Sholem Aleichem together to welcome them and ask them to bless us with peace. We welcome them as a community, but we are taught that each of us has our personal angels watching over and protecting us. When I was in college, I attended a high holiday service where the person giving the sermon talked about the importance of giving a face and other qualities to our angels so that we can better connect to their presence and take inspiration from them. His moving story about the search for his angels stayed with me and inspired me to envision my own. For a while, I had only partial success, but then about 20 years ago, I was invited with the clergy and members of Congregation Orkadash to hold a Friday night service for the last night of the Chicago AIDS ride. We set up a tent uh, at the center of their encampment for the night. And when we finished, a young woman fresh from the bike trail, she was still holding her helmet, came over to me and said that she hadn't known we would be there and thought she would miss Friday night services. So at the sun setting, she sang Lechado D for the final 45 minutes of her ride. And in her words, then I got here and you were here and Shabbat was here. And there we stood, each of us sure we were seeing the face of Shabbat. So somewhere in a huge field surrounded by thousands of people moving through wilderness, doing holy work, I found my first angel. And since then, I have found others. Some I've met, some I haven't, some are still with us and some have left this earth. But it's not surprising that some are very special Jewish leaders. And among them is rabbi, author, and activist, Harold Schulweis of Blessed Memory, who spent his career as a religious leader encouraging Jews to live their faith beyond the synagogue. Among many other accomplishments, he was instrumental in founding Mazon, a Jewish response to hunger, and served on his local board of the NAACP. In the 1990s, far ahead of his conservative movement, he publicly welcomed LGBTQ Jews to his congregation. It was not a coincidence that I borrowed his words for the funeral service for my mother. And as we heard, also a bit earlier, Cantor Debbie Friedman, also of blessed memory, reimagined the role of a cantor and through her music ushered in an era of participatory services, helping to revitalize the worship experience. And indeed her voice is with us tonight. And it was her melodies that welcomed me home in 1998 when I returned to services after being away for some time. Stemming from the quiet pride she took from her place in the LGBTQ community, her English lyrics often address the empowerment of women and other disenfranchised groups. The power of her, her music is so strong that her prayer settings are used in conservative and orthodox services as well as throughout the reform movement. And then I think about Rabbi Victor Appel, who has had a varied and distinguished career, which includes the time he spent as one of the first gay rabbis to serve a mainstream congregation. When telling his story, he goes back to his teen years in New York when he was already drawn to the rabbinate, but also keenly aware of his sexual identity. In his world at that time, the two were not compatible. But for years, he literally held on to one sign of hope. The weekly ad in the New York Times for Congregation Beit Simchat Torah, New York's LGBTQ temple. Just knowing it existed kept him going until he was old enough to experience it for himself. And when he did, a new world open for him. Understanding the importance and um, impact of a place to safely be fully oneself and the limit oppor limited opportunities young LGBTQ Jews still may struggle against, Rabbi Appel has been an enthusiastic advocate of temples like CBST and programs like Orchadash, and his message includes the need to make them as widely known as possible. His story is an important source of motivation for me as I work with others to continue the special work of Orchadash knowing that people are counting on us. 
So these are some of the people who connect me to my angels. You may have noticed that Rabbi Schulweis and Appel and Cantor Debbie Friedman have something in common beyond their unique contributions to the LGBTQ community. Each one of them challenged religious norms and leadership and no doubt ruffled feathers. Yet, unlike Korach, each thrived professionally and has served as an inspiration to the fuller Jewish community. God, I think, differentiates between those who challenge authority and establish custom for their own gain and those who challenge it to better, better the world. On this Pride Shabbat, I acknowledge all of you for doing exactly that. Through your embrace of the Orthodox community, by personally working to advance the cause of social justice, and through your commitment to the work of Temple Sholem, I am blessed by this community, and I offer my wish that your Shabbat angels bring you peace. Thank you. Yishar Kochech, thank you so much, Lily. Uh, and I believe that you are actually um, one of our Shabbat angels. So thank you, Lily, for your, your wisdom um, and for sharing those stories with us. And uh, like Rabbi Gelman, I too remember um, you bringing me to tears. Um, and that was when we, um, just before services, um, not too many years ago, um, sat with Edwards Weiss and David Lipschultz, our then president of Temple Sholem, um, as we signed um, something together to say that Or Chadash would become part of Temple Sholem to enrich us, to lead us with light, to be able for us to recognize um, how we needed to be enriched um, by Or Chadash, a decades long congregation that then became part of this community. And so I want to say to you, thank you for bringing that new light to us. And I just invite everyone who's here on Zoom to just take a moment to scroll through and see all of the beautiful faces in our community. There are so many um, and it is extraordinary. So as we scroll through, we'll see that Rabbi Cindy Anger, who um, at that time had been the rabbi for Or Chadash, is with us tonight. And so Rabbi Anger, if you would, uh, I think you might have a special reading for us this evening. Uh, rabbi Anger is not only a great rabbi, she's also a great poet. Thank you, Rabbi Kana. Oh, oh thank you, Rabbi Conover. Um, what an honor and what a pleasure to be with all of you tonight on, on Pride Shabbat. I'm actually going to share a poem for, from the recent publication, Mishkan Ga'ava, Where Pride Dwells. There are several contributions from Orthodox members in this recently published uh, book. Uh, this reading is a blessing for pride. It was written by Rabbi Joshua Zlachauer, Rabbi Erica Steelman, and Dr. Gloria Becker. A blessing for pride. Mekor hachayim, source of life. You have blessed each of us with your spirit. In your wisdom, you have made each of us a unique treasure. Mayan chayenu, wellspring of our lives. Cause us to flow with courage, strength, and compassion to live our stories openly, proudly, and joyfully. Shchina shel ahava, presence of love. You embrace us with your love. May we embrace ourselves, our partners, our lovers, our friends, our children, our dear ones, with your, the power of your ahava rabba, your unending, boundless love. Ruach hashalom, spirit of peace and wholeness, open our eyes to the gifts and blessings we offer and receive from each other. Open our hearts to welcome each other fully and truly. Open our hands to embrace, to support, to lift each other, begila, barina, uvareut, with joy, with song, and with deep friendship. Today, as we celebrate renewal, pride, and community, let us walk together with strength, compassion, and love. Nivarech et mayan chayenu, asher tikadesh utsameach otanu. We bless you, wellspring of our lives. May you fill us with joy and sanctity. Amen. 
And I see that Carol Goldbaum, who's with us this evening, is another contributor to that extraordinary work. Um, so thank you so much from sh for sharing that resource. Maybe you could, could you hold that up one more time so people, if they want to get it um, for their own, that they can. Where pride dwells, where, where pride dwells, uh, Mishkan Ga'ava. It is available for purchase after Shabbat, or for those of you who might want to get it on Shabbat as well. Thank you so much, Rabbi Anger. And I see that we have with us some uh, smaller friends, and I would say that this might be a good time um, to invite them to maybe go a little, uh, go go somewhere. Um, uh, just for, for a few moments before we gather back in song at the end of the service. Um, as tonight, um, before Kaddish, I want to share that, that we're remembering Henlanger, who had originally survived the shooting at Bar Noir in Tel Aviv 11 years ago. I mean, he died just over a week ago. He was 33. And his family shared a statement they said, Hen is the third person murdered in the attack on Bar Noir, the youth bar. For 11 years, he was dying. He was one of the survivors and symbols of the attack. And this last year was a hard year for him. In the years following the attack, he was a great activist for LGBTQ rights and a mentor for so many. Bar Noir, or the youth bar, was a club for LGBTQ high school kids. And on August 1st, a man with a mask dressed all in black started firing a handgun. And 17-year-old youth, uh, youth named Liz Tro Trobishi and a 26-year-old counselor named Nir Katz were murdered and 15 others were hurt. A week after that attack 11 years ago, there were tens of thousands of people who gathered in Rabin Square and Hen Langer addressed the group and he said, it's been a bad week for lesbians, for gay men, for trans folks, for bisexuals, for straights, for parents, for children, for secular people, for Jews and for Arabs. And for Israel, it's been a bad week for you. It's been a bad week for living things, a bad week for tender injured souls in the hospital, a bad week for the families who lost loved ones in that awful day. I can see that. What had been a place where people could feel most free and where youth could feel most free turned into a horror show. So tonight, on this Pride Shabbat, we mourn Chen Langer, the third person murdered in the Bar Noir attack 11 years ago. But we who live can bring honor to their memories. We who live can create safe spaces in his memory. We who live can understand that the pain of events, like the shooting at Bar Noir, the massacre at Pulse nightclub, or the killing of Tony McDade, or the violent repression of queer activists at the Stonewall Inn in Greenwich Village on June 28th, 1969, the pain of those events can lead us all to become more vigilant in our protection and celebration of love and gender in all its forms. It can help us to make sure that we remember all of them. And so on this Pride Shabbat, we think of those in our community who recently passed from this earth and our hearts go out to their grieving families. We think now of Joseph Noel Ramos, Mark Buma Fintel, John Marshall Griffith, and Jane Suskind Nairns. I'm also sad to announce the death of Dr. David Berkson, who died yesterday and whose funeral will be on Monday. I also share those names of people whose yard site we mark on the Shabbat, whose memory we hold dear. Patrick Barrett, Alan Baer, J. Elliot Brett, John Brussel, Josephine Dremer, Ida Plax Ebner, Mildred Giddens, 
Roberta Gilbert, Suzanne Goodman, Dr. Benjamin F. Gordon, Rabbi Morris Greenfield, Albert Griesbach, Pauline Grossman, Anthony Henlin Jones, Bessie Hyman, Izzy Johnson, Simon Levin, Mark Levine, Ida Z. Lewis, Dr. Jack Marco, Sadell Mertz, Gina Rosen Orent, Charlotte Janice Morris Paglin, Mary Pilus, Dale Pollock, Sydney Randall, Philip Rutberg, Ellen Can Rosenfeld, sorry, Ellen Kahn Rosenfeld, Morris Rosenson, David Shames, Edward M. Scheinkopf, Jean K. Scheinkopf, Bertha Cohen Ross, Michael Smith, Marion Solomon, Annette Spielman, Sylvia Weintraub, and Gerald Zaidman. There are others you're remembering on the Shabbat. I invite you to either share their name in the chat or to unmute yourself and share their names aloud. Bud Weissman. Paul Rostick. Michael Chris, Cooper. Chris Predick. Judd Weinberg. Stuart Levine. And Marvin Levine. And Rabbi Gilman, if there are others who were mentioned, please share their names. There are no others in the chat. We turn now to page 598 for Kadesh Yatom. Amen. <laughs> Vitadar vitale vitalal shmeid kurisha. Leila min kol virchata vishirata. Tush vichata vinechamata. Ramiran bialma. Vimru. Ami. Yeheshlama rabba min shemaya vichayim alenu vial kol Yisrael. Vimru. Ami. Ose shalom min roma vuya se shalom. Alenu vial kol Yisrael. Vimru. Ami. Who says shalom in Roma? Who ya says shalom aleinu? They all call Israel. They move, imu, amen. Well, it is a pleasure and an honor to invite Troy Neely and Omar Miller to lead us in the motzi. I don't know if anybody else has a beautiful challah, but I know that they do. Hey guys. Good evening, can you hear us? Shabbat shalom. Hi, Hi Omar. Shabbat shalom, Shabbat shalom. <gasps> what an honor this evening, thank you so much. That's a beautiful one. Amen. Will you eat some for us? Vitayavon, <laughs> and thank you so much. And yes, your call. Thank you. So now it has become a beautiful tradition for Cantor Katzman to close this service with Over the Rainbow. Some, somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I heard of once 
in a lullaby somewhere over the rainbow skies are blue and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true someday i'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops that's where you I love tradition. Oh my gosh. Well, that Thanks. one, Thank you. that <laughs> um, as some people are wiping, uh, wiping tears. Oh, Cancer Katzman, thank you so much. And so we do well. have a, a little bluebird who is flying over the rainbow um, onto Evanston. Um, and so our Rabbi Rossoff, who has led us so beautifully uh, well, and look at, I mean, and, and the tie, the kippa, the boxes in his newly minted home, the piano already out and ready to be played in his little post Shabbat Oneg interlude. Um, Rabbi Rossoff, you have been such an extraordinary gift to all of us. Uh, we love that you started your, your rabbinic career at Temple Sholem and you have now been able to conclude this part of your journey um, with Temple Sholem. But we also love that you are just a very short drive away. Um, not that we wanna come out to you, but we want you to come back often. You serve us so beautifully. Your wisdom is unparalleled um, and uh, it's only paralleled by your kindness, um, all coming from one extraordinary source. And so Rabbi Rossoff, we want to sing you off um, on your journey um, from chayel to chayel, from strength to strength. Um, and so we'd like to have you enter this next stage um, with singing the Shahachianu, thanking God for giving us life, for sustaining us and allowing us to see you go on this journey as we treasure all of the things that you brought to us and you will continue to bring to us. Your legacy here is cemented in love. So who's thank ever you, in charge of the muting? Oh, Rabbi, go ahead. I just wanted to thank you all. This is definitely a Sheikh Yanu moment, um, a mixed, uh, mixed emotions, but um, you have all been such a blessing to, to me and to, and to Fran, and this will be a year that we will always cherish our friends, uh, old and new, and this incredible, incredible cr clergy team. Ain't nothing like it. So thank you all and bless you. Bless you. Bless you, Rabbi Rossoff. So everyone, Rabbi Galman, who's ever in charge of the unmuting, just remember, it's a very long amen at the end. <laughs> just say. Get ready to hug your, can we wait, can we say, get ready to hug your, your computers, you know, give this rabbi all your love in this Shehechianu. Baruch atah Adonai Here we go, nice and loud.
Shabbat Shalom. It's raining already. Getting ready for the rainbow. <laughs> Look 